Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to get Veloth's Judgment in Elder Scrolls 3 Marwyn. So before we get started, let me first say that uh, this item is given to you when you accept a quest from the NPC that I'm about to show you. And uh, in order to accept this quest from this NPC, you have to be a member of the Tribunal Temple and you also will have to complete all quests leading up to this one from uh, the Tribunal Temple. In order to accept this quest, you need to be the rank of Curate, which is a halfway decently high rank in um, the Tribunal Temple. So what I'm trying to say is basically you can't just like go in there and uh, basically accept this quest out of the blue and immediately start it. You have to go through at least, uh, I'd say, two, about half of the Tribunal Temple quests is is what I would guess. Or two thirds, one of the two. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's more more close to half. So, uh, the Veloth's Judgment is actually given to you in the town of Molagmar. So, in order to get to Molagmar from where we are now, which is standing in Balmora, we're going to go over to this Silt Strider and we're going to ride him over to Vivek. And the NPC we're looking for is, uh, what's his name again? We make a special treat. Reading my guide for a second. Therer Rothaloth. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced. I The NPCs in this game, they're all named weird things. So from uh, the Vivek Silk Strider, as you can see here, we can ride right on over to Molagmar. And if you would like to Google search the name of this quest, it is called Slay Raxel Bernie. And uh, they're spelled kind of basically as you would expect them to be spelled. If you're having a hard time, then uh, just Google Veloth's Judgment and you'll find what you need. So we are in Molagmar right now, as you can see, and Molagmar is a lot like Vivek. It's kind of the same like little canton uh, of how the town is built. And we'll be able to find the guy right here at Molagmar Temple. At the uh, highest peak of Molagmar, as you can see here. And then he's in this room. He is right here. Therar Rothaloth. And, uh... Obviously, like I said, you'll need to be a member of the temple before he'll accept, uh, before he'll give you the quest. And, uh, you will also need to, um, complete, I think a couple of, I think three or four quests from him before he gives you the quest. And like I said, once you accept the Slay Raxel Bernie quest, he automatically gives you the hammer. There is no completion. You don't have to complete the quest. You don't have to do anything besides accept the quest and you are done. And, uh, that's also why I didn't actually go and you know do the quest or wait until I could make a video of me doing the quest because all you have to do is accept it so that's really all there is to it if you guys need um, guides on the tribunal temple quests line I recommend either unofficial Elder Scrolls project UESP is the acronym for it just Google search UESP tribunal temple quests and you'll find the page for it or you can use my website, almarsguides.com, and I also have all of the Tribunal Temple quests documented. So either or, whichever you would like. It's pretty easy to get this hammer. I would say if you're not a member of the Tribunal Temple, expect it to take maybe five or six hours, depending on how long it takes you to do the, pil the pilgrimage quest, which requires you to run around like the entire world. But uh, yep, that, that's, that's basically all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully it answered some of your questions. If it did, please leave me a like. And if uh, if I forgot anything whatsoever, please comment below and let me know what I forgot. That way you also let everybody else know. And uh, aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind videos. Peace.